Adam Fantilli was drafted third overall by the Columbus Blue Jackets in the 2023 NHL Entry Draft. He is a gold medal winner with the Canadian World Junior Team. And you know what? He just seems like a pretty cool guy. I, I don't know what else to say. Anyway, he seems like a very promising prospect, like he's got a bright future ahead of him. So let's go ahead, jump into a simulation here on NHL 24 and see what EA Sports thinks is going to happen in Adam Fantilli's NHL career. Adam will start his career between Robinson and Marchenko on the third line of the Columbus Blue Jackets. Obviously, he signed that ELC. Yeah, you know me. Shout out to James, but not really because he annoys me quite a bit in Be A Pro. The first season, Columbus finished eighth in the entire league with 100 points, but it wasn't a great year for Adam as he put up 33 in 82 games. He was on the third line, however, was a plus eight, and the team made it to round number two. However, the Rangers got the better of them in six. It would be Bedsy winning the Calder for the opening year, but Fantilli actually had a pretty decent playoff run with seven points in 12 games and was a dash four. They picked up a left wing, medium, top six power forward in this year's draft, and Fantilli went up to 84 overall, although he would still be on the third line. The team does it again. They finish eighth with 100 points. Deja vu. The Rangers actually winning back-to-back -back President's Trophies as well, so that's worth noting. Fantilli has a better year with 66 points in 79 games, missed out on a couple there. And once again, they would be deleted by the Rangers in the second round, taking six games. Nine points in 11 games for Fantilli, and this is the second year in a row that the team has been put out by the eventual Stanley Cup winner. Fantilli is now up to 88 overall, and for the first time, we see him with an ability, so it is looking good. However... The team is not, apparently. They finished 6th in the Metro, missing out on the playoffs. And we only get 60 points in 82 games from Fantilli, who was a dash 15. Here's Bedard going off, as he does in this game. I don't know what it is, but he is absolutely insane in this simulation. Fantilli would remain at 88 overall on the second line. Signs a new contract. Three years at 7, 1, 2, 5. The defensive core still looking relatively the same, and they do very well this year. They finished third in the league with 111 points. Fantilli had 63, was a plus 25, so he's not really getting a whole lot of points, but what a year from Merzlikens, just shy of a 920. This time, they beat the Rangers, but it would be the Boston Bruins taking them out in the conference finals, and yet again, the team that put them out went on to win the Stanley Cup. Crosby retires with 1,850 points. Great career from Sid. Legendary. In fact, the dynamic abilities in this game are really cool. Fantilli loaded with them now at 88 overall. Merzlikens 86 overall, and he's got some. The Columbus Blue Jackets finished second in the Metro with 95 points. 118 from the Rangers, who clearly won the Metro. We do see nearly point a game from Fantilli. He was injured, evidently. 67 games played, and they would be rinsed by the Philadelphia Flyers in round number one. He was almost point a game in the playoffs as well. Not really saying much, considering it was... Only a five-game series, and he played four of those games. But anyway, he's up to 89 overall. Merzlikens down to 82, but still has four abilities. And they would miss out on the playoffs this season, finishing fourth in the Metro. And again, so close to point a game, but can't quite get there. Hopefully, he will eventually. The Blue Jacketless playoffs result in Colorado taking home the cup, and Malkin retires with 1,670 points. Finally, Fantilli hits the 90 overall mark, signs a five-year deal at just over 9 million per. The team looks pretty solid. They'd finish 17th in the league and sneak in. The playoff system is outrageous. Only 54 points in 73 games and a dash 11, but they made playoffs. So you know what? Anything can happen. Unfortunately, a first round exit was the anything this time around. So no underdog story, anything like that. They got demolished, but it was worth a try. Ovi with 1,100 goals. I don't even know if he's going to pass Gretzky anymore. It's not really... It turned from an if to a when back to an if. Let's get back on track here. Blue Jackets finished fifth in the Metro with 84 points. Adam, what are you doing? Adam, dash 11... And this time, once again, without Columbus there, Colorado goes on to win the cup. Coincidence? I think so. Huberdeau leading this year's retirement class, and we see Fantilli, Sprong, and Johnson leading the Columbus Blue Jackets back to a playoff spot. They got 90 points, 5th in the Metro, and 58 from Fantilli, who was a plus 9. McDavid 
had a great year. Same with Kaprizov. Benson's up there as well. Want to do a career sim for him eventually. Unfortunately, they would be swept in the first round by the Rangers, but Fantilli had his guy. Seven points in four games. Are you kidding me? Can't blame him. It is absolutely on everybody else. <laughs> it's a little bit of a bold assumption. But anyway, once again, they're back in the playoff picture. So Fantilli's given this team a lot of playoffs. And he finally does it. Just over point a game. But unfortunately, he cannot find success in the lofts. He found individual success, but the team could not get past the first round. Dreisaitl and McKinnon, very close there. 40 points separate them. So right now, Columbus definitely seems like a playoff team, but once they do get there, they can't really accomplish much. David Pasternak down to 81 overall will be the second line right wing. Again, they're back in the lofts with only 87 points though, so they kind of got a handout this year. Fantilli, 88 points, 22 goals, 66 hamburger helpers. you love to see it, but Cedric Bertuzzi went sicko mode and put up 131. The Carolina Hurricanes, the jerks, if you will, take down the Jackets. In the first round, this time they pushed seven, and Fantilli had 10 points, so again, he did quite well. Goaltending was not phenomenal, and McDavid got over 2,000 points, and Pasta also retires, but they replaced him with Liam Greentree. A new deal is reached, six years, at 11.2 per. Askarov is the new starting goaltender for Columbus, who finishes second in the Metro with 96 points, where Fantilli put up 77, playing the entire year, all 82 games. Unfortunately, it would be a sweep in the conference finals against the Ottawa Senators, and not a great playoff showing for anybody, really. Offensive, defensive, or goaltending. Now, Fantilli is 31, and he has yet to see a Stanley Cup final, and it won't be this year as the team is back out of the playoff picture, finishing fifth in their division, and only 65 points come from Fantilli. The Boston Bruins go on to defeat the Nashville Predators in the finals, and Sebastian Ajo retires with 1,570 points. They grab a nice little prospect here, medium elite, 78 overall. Fantilli dropping below the 90 overall mark again. Unfortunately, down to 89 overall. The team looking a little bit worse for wear here. Kolznik, 80 overall, the starting goaltender, and they finish dead last in the division. This could be rock bottom, but Adam was point a game, to be fair. 31 tucks was a dash 14 and the Predators got revenge from last season. They go on to win the Stanley Cup. Barkov retires with a lot of points. There, let's just go with that. Leg, medium elite. Again, another good pickup for this Columbus roster who is back in the playoff picture, baby. Just like that, not gonna let one year get them down. The 12th place Blues miss out on the playoffs. Felt the need to highlight that along with 79 points from Fantilli, who made it all the way to the Stanley Cup final. He finally got his appearance. But I, I'm assuming Cedric Bertuzzi's still there. He and his Arizona Coyotes take down Adam in the Jackets. Jackson Leg, the draft pick they just grabbed, is on the first line, and he's looking to make an impact on this team. Their goaltender is now Weston who was not drafted by Columbus, but he looks pretty solid. He's only 23, 86 overall, and the team is third in the Metro with 97 points in the playoffs. Fantilli just under point a game, leg down there with 45, and they do it! They go and defeat the Edmonton Oilers, a sweep in the Stanley Cup final, but Fantilli got finessed. Patan is given the con Smythe, a defenseman. You know what? Actually, I take it back. I am just now realizing for the first time he is a defenseman, so I'll, I'll allow it, 100%. What a career for Matthews. He's literally disgusting. Leg, 88 points. Nope, that's not true. He's 88 overall. Normally, I cut that stuff out, but I'm just going to leave it this time. You know what? We're just all right. It will do it live. Fantilli, 65 points, was a dash 22. They're out of the playoffs, but they won their Stanley Cup, so it doesn't really matter anymore. The Jets sweep the Capitals in the Stanley Cup final. I was probably on the couch crying because, as you know, I'm a Capitals fan. Fantilli, now down to 84 overall, does not have an ability to his name anymore, but still gets paid. Absolutely, he does. They have a good year somehow. They finished second in the Metro. And Fantilli was over point a game, so he's still cooking at the young age of 36. And he does it again! He does it again! This time against the Winnipeg Jets, and he does not get snubbed. Conn Smythe winner, Adam Fantilli, 30 points, 22 games. What a sicko. He's now down to 82 overall, out of the playoffs in year 19 here. But you know what? He absolutely cooked. Plus 10 and 51. You know what? In 82 games for a third liner... Not too shabby, can't complain. And he calls it a career at 1,500 flat. 
Honestly, thank you so much. That is such a satisfying number. Cooley as well. So thank you, both of you guys. I'm just coming in here after the fact to say thank you, Byfield, as well for 1,600. Appreciate it. He got a total of 434 goals, 842 apples for 1,276 points. So did he blow up the team offensively? No, he didn't really get a whole lot of goals. But I'm sure Columbus fans are absolutely ecstatic with two Stanley Cups. So just a quick overview here. Fantilli stayed loyal to the Jackets his entire career, signed 19 years worth of contracts at an estimated earnings of $155 million. That's all right. It's like a decent payday, I guess. The team never won a President's Trophy, but they did win two Stanley Cups and Fantilli won a Conn Smythe during one of those runs. So you love to see it. I have a Leo Carlson sim in the works as well. I kind of want to get back into these a little bit. So let me know what players you want to see. Obviously, I want to do Benson. And I think there's a, a little bit of a list. But let me know who you want to see. And I will try to prioritize in that sense. But Leo Carlson, most likely going to be the next one. If you could drop a like and subscribe, that would be greatly appreciated. If not, then thank you. Have a nice day. I'll see you soon.